A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, to me, the very least of all the holy ones, this grace was given to preach to the Gentile the unscrupulous riches of Christ and to bring to light for all what is the plan of the mystery hidden from ages past in God who created all things so that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known through the church to the principal to the principles and the authorities in the heavens. This was according to the eternal purpose that he accomplished in Christ Jesus, our Lord, in whom we have boldness of speech and confidence of access through faith in him. The word of the Lord. The mouth of the justice the mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he grant you your heart's request. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light, bright as the Monday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, and his step do not falter. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. And if you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy be in you and your joy be complete. And this is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down his life for one's friends. And you are my friends if you do what I command you. And no longer I call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. pastors, especially bishops everywhere, that they may tend the flock entrusted to them with care, courage, and perseverance. For this we pray to the Lord. For all who work in parishes, pastors, assistants, co-workers, that they may be agents of the Holy Spirit who leads the people of God into unity. For this we pray to the Lord. For priests and religious to engage in the work of Christ, 
in difficult and trying situations, that their courage may not fail them in the hour of trial. May Christ, the good pastor, be their inspiration and joy. For this we pray to the Lord. For vocations, the priesthood. May the Lord call into his harvest young men who will speak to the people of our time with insight and conviction. For this we pray to the Lord. For harmony among all who work for Christ. May petty factions not enter into their work for the kingdom of his soul. For this we pray to the Lord. For those who have been born with burdens and toils of the years, who are now retired from active ministries, may God's peace dwell with them always. For this we pray to the Lord.